guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through the steps on how to get this really fierce deer Halloween makeup look. So if you wanna learn, keep watching. For today's skin prep, I wanna keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna be using the Murata Clarifying Oil-Free Water Gel. I'm just gonna take this and lightly press it into my skin. This is gonna be a great moisturizer to use for today's makeup because it's not going to weigh the skin down. It's just going to keep it lightweight, which is great because we will be layering a lot of makeup. For primer, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Skin Equalizer Skin Smoothing Primer. This is really going to come in handy because we want a smooth, flawless finish for this Halloween look. So I'm just gonna go in and kind of press this in as well in the T-zone. For foundation, I'm going in with my Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the shade Barcelona by NARS. And I'm pushing this into the skin, just kind of bouncing it on top of the skin with my Dose of Colors sponge. Really want a flawless coverage today. I want to be extra. I want to be a fierce deer. So we want some coverage. That's why I'm going in with the sponge. I want to keep my skin more of like a natural matte. So this foundation will really come in handy for that. It is Halloween makeup after all. We might as well go in, honey. To prime my eyelids, I'm going in with the P. Louise Base Pro. Just basing this all over my eyelids, all the way up to my brow bone. For brows, just going in with my dark brown Kelly Baker Brow Brow Pencil. Just to give my brows some definition, I'm gonna start off by filling in the tail of the brow and making my way towards the inner part of the brow. And I'm making strokes of hair in the direction that I want the hair to lay. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna start off with this ABH Norvina Collection Eyeshadow Palette. This is volume three, and I'm gonna be using this mustard looking tone right here. This is A3. We are going for a really snatched eyeshadow look. So I wanna start off by just using this mustard tone in the crease, and I'm blending it out with a 217 brush. This will make a really great transition shade for all the other warm brown tones that we are about to get into. We're also gonna be doing a really heavy nose contour today, so you definitely wanna bring this eyeshadow down in to the nose contour. Always good to have an extra blending brush, so I'm taking another 217 and just going over this area to make sure that it's nice and blended. For my eyelid, I wanna go in with this KVD Dazzle Stick. This is in the shade Electro Bolt. So we basically wanna go in and define the crease with this. It's a very long wearing shadow, and it has such a nice gleam to it. So I feel like it's going to be perfect. You can honestly use anything that's going to give you high shine and shimmer. I also put some on the back of my hand so I can go in with a flat synthetic brush. This one is by Crown. It is their concealer brush. That way we can cut the crease. It is long wearing so you do want to blend pretty quick. Just using the edge of the synthetic brush to really extend my lid and bring it outward. And I also want to extend my eyelid in the inner corner. So just kind of bringing this down and then in an upward direction using the brush vertically. To cut my crease, I'm gonna go in with my Illa Mask Elemental Artistry Palette and just taking this brown shade right here from the bottom and using my 266 brush from MAC. Kind of like to tilt my head back sometimes so I can really see where I wanna go in and define the crease to make it even more cut. You could even do this with an eyeliner coal type of pencil or you can go in with eyeshadow. I like to switch it up, I'll do either or. And then just swooping this out to make a more dramatic crease. So once the crease is nice and cut and deep enough for you, you can go in with a brush just to kind of blend it out a little bit. I'm using a MAC 239 brush just to kind of soften this up. To make my eyes pop even more, I went in with a lip brush. This is by MAC, this is their 231 lip brush. I also went back in with the same eyeshadow that I used just to make sure that my crease is popping, honey. For eyeliner, I'm gonna go in with a black gel liner. This one is by Illamask, nice and creamy. I'm also gonna use another MAC brush. This is the 263 brush. It is a synthetic hair brush that is really nice and fine. So I can really create a nice sharp wing liner. So for my eyeliner, I'm actually gonna start off by creating the wing first. 
Starting from the outer corner of my eye, I just wanna make sure that I create that eyeliner flick first before bringing the eyeliner towards the inner part of my eye, just to make sure that I have enough room so you can really see the definition between my cut crease, the eyelid shade, and then also the liner. So essentially it's gonna create three different swoops. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like every time I do this style of eye makeup, just something really extra, on the eyes, it just kind of makes my alter ego come out. I don't know, it must be all the, the creases and the wing liners, there's just something about it. I feel like I need to make my eyes look even bigger, so I'm gonna go in with a white eyeliner. And the product that I'm using is by KVD, it is their 24 hour super brow white out pomade. You can use this anywhere on the face though. It's a great product to use for this look because it is an all day wear and that's exactly what we want. The brush that I'm using is by Crown Brushes. This is the Opal Lip Brush. So I'm just bringing this white towards the inner part of my eye and using a brush that is nice and small like this is gonna make it really easy to do that detail work. I kinda wanna look like a cute little cartoon deer so I'm gonna bring the white eyeliner right underneath my lower lash line. Can you have too many wing liners for this look? I don't think so. <laughs> for concealer, I definitely want a really intense highlight and contour. So I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. When blending this area out, we don't want to blend it out too much because I want to look like a deer at this point. I feel like I'm starting to look like a deer. I'm getting really excited. <laughs> The sponge that I'm using to blend out my concealer is by Fenty Beauty. I do feel like when I use a smaller sponge, I have way more control around the under eye area. Using a really sharp concealer brush, this one is by Sephora, it's number 45. I'm gonna take a little bit of that fair neutral tart shape tape and get right underneath this eyeliner. You know what? I feel like I just cemented down my face. This makeup might be on till tomorrow. Taking a little more concealer, I'm just placing it in the center of my forehead. To set my under eyes, I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Translucent Powder in the shade Pound Cake. And I'm just being really mindful of my placement. I definitely wanna bake everywhere that I placed my concealer, just to make it pop even more and to get a really long wear. Okay, so I'm gonna dust off my baking and now I'm prepped and ready to go in and contour. I'm gonna go in and set my skin with my MAC NC42 Studio Fix Powder. Just smiling and applying this in the hollows of my cheeks. This is gonna be my base layer for contour. And then lightly dusting this around my forehead, just around the perimeter. Just using an angled brush to apply my contour and I will definitely link everything that I used down below. Next, I'm gonna go in and contour my face using this lighter shade right here. This is from the Dragon Beauty Face Palette. So starting off with the tip of my nose, I'm using a blending brush. This is another 217 brush by MAC. I have so many of these. And I really wanna go in and create a dramatic nose contour. Can't face contour, why don't we? I'm actually gonna start using the darker shade as well and just kind of mix the two of them together. I'm just taking my brush and bringing it upward towards the beginning of my eyebrows. Going in with that lighter shade again and just going over these contour lines. Using a 109 brush from MAC, going in with that same shade just to chisel these cheeks. And don't be afraid to go in and really contour these cheeks for lots of definition. So that's really a look we want. Using the same shade on the forehead, just following the perimeter of my hairline. Now going in with the darker contour shade just to add even more definition. Highlighting the bridge of my nose with the highlight from the Dragon Beauty palette. Just using a really small tapered brush. So going back in with my gel eyeliner, I'm just gonna start outlining right underneath the white. For eyelashes, I'm going in with my Lily Lashes in Style Paris. This is definitely one of my favorite lashes to wear. I'm obsessed with the style of this lash. I feel like it always goes with my wing liner looks. 
Just adding a bit of the Climax Mascara by NARS to the tips of the lashes just to make them even more dramatic. So now to add some white dots on my face to make me look even more like Bambi, I'm gonna take this Fix Plus spray and spray this really random sponge that I got at the craft store. And then I'm going to dip it into this white eyeshadow by Illa Mask. You definitely wanna get the sponge pretty wet. At first I went in with the sponge to try and create the dots, but I honestly didn't love it. I'm gonna go in with a Q-tip instead. The palette that I'm using is by Dennis Myricks. I'm using this white shade and it is a waterproof palette. I'm going straight into the palette, but then I'm also using the back of my hand as a little palette. And I think it's kind of cool if we make them different sizes too. So I'm just kind of going in and creating the placement and then I'm gonna perfect the dots. So to soften up these dots, I basically just went in with a Q-tip and made a little swirl over each dot. And it kind of blends in with my contour and I don't mind that. To set these dots, I'm using a blending brush and just going over it with this white shade from my Illamas palette. I'm also gonna do a few dots on my contour. Okay, I'm into that. Oh my God, I feel like Bambi. I'm Bambi. What do deers do? Like what, what do deers do? Somebody help me here. Using a pointed liner brush is from Crown Brushes and going in with the black from the same palette, I'm gonna create a line in a downward direction and also contour my nose a bit more. And really slowly, I'm just following this shadow that I've already created with the contour. I feel like when doing this, I need to move my nose from side to side so I can make sure that I've filled every little area. So now for my lips, I'm gonna keep the top lip black and the bottom lip nude. So here we go. Also using that same brush, I'm gonna kind of drag it outward. I'm gonna start off by lining my lips with Let's Cuddle by Dose of Colors. You definitely wanna make sure that the top lip and the bottom lip is extremely long wearing so they don't mix into each other. Oh my God, I'm full on Bambi right now. I'm kind of obsessed with this look. She's a fierce deer. So this is the finished deer Halloween makeup look. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this tutorial. And of course, if you recreate this makeup look, make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can repost your work. like and subscribe if you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you guys soon and happy Halloween I'm gonna start over I don't know why I can like I'm tired it's like almost midnight whoa start over starting over for the fifth time starting over the fifth time oh my god I'm so sleepy it's the buns for me honestly <laughs> I feel like I'm starting to come alive. Okay, I'm gonna start off by blending. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> don't do it, girl. Am I okay? I don't know. <laughs>